Pauls Valley, Oklahoma. Pauls Valley is a city in and the county seat of Garvin County, Oklahoma, United States. The population was 6,187 at the 2010 census, a decline of 1.1% from 6,256 at the 2000 census. It was settled by and named for Smith Paul, a North Carolina native who married a Chickasaw woman and became a citizen of the Chickasaw Nation before the Civil War. The town economy is largely based on agriculture and oil production. The area that eventually became the city of Paul's Valley was one of the earliest European-American settlements in what was then known as Indian Territory. Smith Paul, born in 1809 in New Bern, North Carolina, discovered the fertile bottom land which is now Paul's Valley while a member of a wagon train traveling to California. Paul described the land as a section where the bottom land was rich and blue stem grass grew so high that a man on horseback was almost hidden in its foliage. The Tri-Party Treaty of January 1, 1837 ceded this part of what is now the state of Oklahoma to the Chickasaw Nation. When the Chickasaw people were relocated to Indian Territory that year, Smith Paul moved with them and married Della Chicha, a Chickasaw woman. In 1847, the Pauls established a plantation on the rich Garvin County bottom land, where Rush Creek joined the Washita River, which became known to locals as Smith Paul's Valley. Mail to the Pauls was often addressed to Smith Paul's large farm. By 1871, Postal service was established in the area, although the post office was designated Paul's Valley, Arkansas, because the Indian Territory was being administered out of Arkansas at that time. The Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Railway, a.k.a. Santa Fe Railway, shortened the name to Paul's Valley when it built the track through the community in 1887, completing its connection between Kansas and the Gulf Coast. The railroad brought growth and prosperity to Smith Pauls Valley. The first newspaper was published in 1887. The Pauls Valley town site was laid out in 1892, though the plat was not approved by the Dawes Commission until 1903. A U.S. courthouse was built in 1895. The first white school in Indian Territory was established, and brick buildings were built downtown. In 1909, the streets were bricked. Today, Pauls Valley has more brick streets than any other town in the United States. When the Santa Fe Railway discontinued its Lone Star route in 1979, the 1905 building fell into disuse. By 1985, the BNSF Railway, which had bought the Santa Fe Railway, had obtained a permit to raise the old depot. Adrienne Grimmett, who was then president of the Pauls Valley Historical Society, started a campaign to save the old structure. Her efforts resulted in the city buying the depot from BNSF and turning it over to the Historical Society for conversion into a museum. Individuals donated their time and skills, and local businesses either donated or discounted the cost of materials to perform the necessary renovations, which began in 1991. In 1999, Amtrak began its Heartland Flyer service between Oklahoma City and Dallas. Passing through Paul's Valley. City officials agreed to build a new waiting room for Amtrak passengers adjacent to the old depot. The new Paul's Valley station has a climate controlled waiting area and restrooms, but is unstaffed, having no ticketing or baggage handling facilities. It also has a 10 car parking lot outside. The architecture was designed to be compatible with the old Santa Fe style building. The Oklahoma Cartoonists Hall of Fame, located in the Toy and Action Figure Museum, was opened in Paul's Valley in 2005. Paul's Valley is located east of the center of Garvin County at 34.735831, minus 97.223503. It is south of Oklahoma City, at the junction of Interstate 35 and State Highway 19. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and, or 1.90 percent, is water. The Washita River a tributary of the Red River, flows through the city south of the downtown area. The Pauls Valley City Lake, located about northeast of the center of town, offers recreational opportunities, including fishing, camping, swimming, jet skiing, hunting, and a pavilion for groups to use. As of the census of 2000, there were over 6,000 people, 2,475 households, and 1,591 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 3,007 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the city was 79.27% white, 5.29% African American, 7.40% Native American, 0.66% Asian, 0.06% Pacific Islander, 
3.47% from other races, and 3.85% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 7.53% of the population. There were 2,475 households out of which 30.5% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 46.6% were married couples living together, 14.1% had a female householder with no husband present, and 35.7% were non-families. 32.0% of all households were made up of individuals and 17.4% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.38 and the average family size was 3.00. In the city, the population was spread out with 24.4% under the age of 18, 9.2% from 18 to 24, 27.1% from 25 to 44, 20.6% from 45 to 64, and 18.7% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 38 years. For every 100 females, there were 88.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 84.6 males. The median income for a household in the city was $26,654, and the median income for a family was $32,348. Males had a median income of $27,014 versus $18,965 for females. The per capita income for the city was $15,553. About 12.9% of families and 20.7% of the population were below the poverty line, including 23.0% of those under age 18 and 17.7% of those age 65 or over. Agricultural is the primary economic activity in the Pauls Valley area. Corn, wheat, hay, and cotton have been grown successfully in the region and cattle production is a major activity. Petroleum industry services is the second largest activity in the region. The nearby Golden Trend oil and gas field is still one of the major producing fields in Oklahoma. In more recent years, the town has attracted some light manufacturing plants such as plastics products. Pauls Valley Public Schools provides basic education through high school for Pauls Valley. Public Schools the Pauls Valley Station is one of only five Amtrak passenger stations still operating in Oklahoma. It shares property with the railroad station that was originally built by the Santa Fe Railroad in 1905. The Amtrak facility handles two trains per day, the Heartland Flyer. Amtrak does not provide either ticketing or baggage services at this station. Pauls Valley Municipal Airport, PBJ, is a city-owned. General Aviation Facility located south of the Pauls Valley Business District. The street address is 500 Airport Road. The airport is open Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Central Time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.